hello. Welcome back. I'm Sunny. This is Chris. I'm Araz. And this week for you, we have our guest, Chi. Hey guys, it is Chi, and it's an honor for me to be here. <laughs> well, thank you. Yep, she's a good friend of ours, and uh, we were going to tackle a pretty uh, simplistic question. What kind of superpower would you like to have? It can't be a two superpower, or two super superpower. So <laughs> what are you guys' thoughts on this? Hmm. My, my super non super power would probably be talking to animals. Like, it's kind of like Aquaman, but I could talk to every single animal, and that would be cooler. I haven't seen it, but would this include, like, every insect? <laughs> Heck yeah, man. I can listen. Basically, I've become mother nature itself. I, I can <laughs> listen to the Wait, animals. Isn't so that too you super? You can understand <laughs> them, and you can talk to them? Yes. Like, a two-way... Like, uh, yeah. when you speak to them, do you just, like, speak English and then they just understand you? Or, like, you have to, like, speak in their language? So this is like a kangaroo jack. <laughs> yeah, sort of. yeah. This is like <laughs> kangaroo jack. Yeah. When I speak to dogs, I have to go woof, woof, woof. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, all right. So, first of all, we have to ask a question. Is it worth talking to insects? <laughs> Dude, I can't... Wait, um... I have a more important question. Do you get to tune it out? <laughs> yes. Because let's see, oh, you can. Yeah. Uh, that, that's cheating. Nah, that's too easy. Oh, come on. That is All too. Right. It's too. Uh, this is kind of already like an overpowered power. Like, <laughs> so, yeah. so we got We got to give it. We got to give it some sort of back, backdrop. Like you walk outside, you have no choice but to hear everything. Oh, yeah, that would yeah. be pretty bad. That's, like, <laughs> that's kind of bad. Psyche K. Have you seen that anime? Yeah. Psyche K. He just hears everybody's thoughts all the time, and so he never has a moment to himself. <sighs> What? <clears throat> but I feel like it would be, I don't know, it might be a little bit easier to deal with that if it's animals, because I feel like it's just like food, they're just thinking about food, or they just think about, I don't know, what do, what do animals think about? Sex. Sex. <laughs> Sex. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Whatever the primal <laughs> instincts are, I guess. Yeah, yeah like, or like, hunting. are they going to hunting, yeah, and kill some kind of animal? I don't know. Okay, so maybe you could, you could limit to like mammals, mm-hmm. or mammals. birds, or... <laughs> I think I'd just oh, rather insects. just talk to insects. <laughs> <laughs> That's like the uh, worst thing. No, I thought, you would choose. I, I thought that was a downside. Seems like somebody likes this. No, th- think about it. You know, Ant Man. Like you know, he can become small in red ants, but he can also talk to ants, right? With their his like vibration. Yeah, but that's like that. only ant. You're talking about like yeah, all, all kind of. When you say, when you say talk to them, are you saying you can control them with? your ability to talk to them or you just kind of have a conversation have a conversation but okay. then <laughs> okay okay but I'm gonna, I'm gonna bribe them with food <laughs> oh my god <laughs> but what are they gonna do for you though what, what's think the value think in about it? it I could become the spider king you know People no a spider have... is not insect those are you can look it up those are oh, arachnids. Well, so now we have a discussion there. We've arachnids are not kind of insects now huh that's no. true yeah. that's true I, I don't think the spider is insect you can look it up it's not but, I'm pretty, I'm pretty Scorpions sure. are arachnids or insects? I think they're arachnids, yeah. Really? Are they? Because I think I, their pincers count as legs. They are. So it's six plus the two. What actually defines is it the number of legs they have? Arachnid is, it, is eight. It's eight. eight. I see. Yeah. I always thought oh, arachnids were spiders. bugs. They don't they're not considered bugs? I mean bug is such a generic term. Yeah, yes they're all bugs if you want to think of them that way. But they're also all insects, right? They're all small creatures. I if thought, it makes you I thought insects was a word for like six legged. No, uh, I don't know. Just, let's let's just go with bug, because bug is like it is very generic. I I'm think fine. spider falls under that umbrella. I'm fine. Okay. You're cool. You can you can oh, all right. you can be the spider king. <clears throat> so yeah, I, I can just bribe the spiders with flies. So I'm gonna. So flies are stupid. You know? <laughs> wait, wait, wait. You can you can talk to flies. So are you gonna tell them, hey, I'm gonna feed you to the spider? Yeah. No, no, no. See, do that. We do cool. See, see, what I'm gonna do is that I'm gonna brick them into I'm gonna, going to the webs. Oh yeah, gosh. I'm gonna bribe the flies with fruits and goodies. And they'll be like, oh, man, this uh, this guy is such a nice guy. And they're like, oh, you guys should just go in here and then like <laughs> feed you guys to my spider army. And then <laughs> wait, wait, wait. So this is to get rid of a pest problem, I'm assuming, right? No, it's so he can become monarch of the Arachnid kingdom. Spiders. And also I can like control well, mosquitoes but, uh, so they won't bite. This is a anymore. very <laughs> complex plan. I mean, you're going through like you... two different kinds of bug yeah. so that you can assert dominance over <laughs> one, which asserts dominance over all the other ones. I mean, this is this is complex. Yeah, man. I can also like control the fireflies. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, path. hold on. Hold on, hold on. Talk or control? Talk and hey, just because you can talk to them doesn't mean that you can control <laughs> Look, them. It's gonna, not that they, they're gonna listen to you, Sonny. They will listen to me. 
<laughs> Whether they like it or not. <laughs> right. I think that goes two ways, man. They're gonna, you're going to have to hear their thoughts all the time, yeah. too. Perfect. Because I would. I was just in your head all the oh, damn time. I'm going to like put them in the jar, shake them up. What? I'm going to torture them. What is wrong with you? <laughs> man, you are, you are one cruel spider king. <laughs> Queen. So they have to listen to me. But it's like we said last time. Every time Sonny has an idea, it's always like. like <laughs> so like always... so back then, as when I was a kid, I used to drown bumblebees. So what? Like, so what I did was I basically uh, gathered the flowers in my lawn, and I grabbed the flower they were on, and I put them in like a bin. So I, gra- I grabbed my garden hose, put it in the bin, and so I watched them drown. I just closed oh the bin gosh. and I watched them drown. Why did you die? <laughs> Hey man, we all this stupid stuff as children, but still, damn. <laughs> like I said, man, I'm, I have ways of making them <laughs> do my, <laughs> do my thing. Yo. Oh, okay. Are, did you plan for perhaps a revolt, like a fly and mosquito revolt? See, what I'm gonna do says you know, flies need females. Every every animal needs females. So I'm gonna talk to the female insects <laughs> your your persuasion must be like on point if your plan's gonna fit dude succeed. i have like i have a hundred in speech i have <laughs> <laughs> yes yeah, but you can never convince me to do anything so <laughs> what makes you think that you can talk to spiders hey man they all have small minds i can convince them somehow <laughs> right. just because they're small doesn't mean they're stupid hey you never know that's that's my that's my power what about you guys all right. Um, I have one. It's very video gamey. It's if I touch a book, I want to be able to learn everything it has. Oh, that's such a good but, one. But it consumes a book. Kind of like a skill book in games. What about instead of that, you can learn the book, but you also lose a part of your like memory or something. Oh, it replaces it? So, yeah. I, so, I, have, like, a, so yeah. I have like a limited memory. Yeah, you can only have like... Is that replacing the book itself? Like, say you have touched maybe 100 books. If you want that 101st one, you lose maybe the first book that you touched. Yeah. Or is it I'm losing part of my own memory? Can that... you select what you lose? No. What if, what if it feels no, random? No, no, no. You're like overriding your own memories with new mm-hmm. with new memories. So you have to replace... You have to sacrifice your own memory to get the new knowledge. Okay, here's a question though. Can you compile a number of different books into a single book and have that count as one book? Perhaps the amount of knowledge. Yeah, that's that's a good point. Like if, because you can have different like file sizes and stuff. No, I'm trying to think. Like, what if like your memory is kind of like computer? Instead yeah. of like number of books, it's actually about like how long it is, or, like how much. Okay, so a yeah, larger like, book. Yeah, space. a larger book will space. take more space. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so yeah, there's such like limited to what you can. So uh, how how many books? So Roz's mind can only put like 500 gigabytes in there. Yeah, so, yeah, like, yeah, like 500 that's a gigabytes. Lo- that's, that's, like, a lot, that's, that's a lot. That's a lot. Yeah, that's a lot. 500 gigs is not a lot though. 500 gigs is a lot of. No, but I mean, when you talk about documents, though, document yeah, doc- doesn't take up that. Much hardly space. any. Yeah. I'd yeah. rather just have have my normal mind and have terabytes of hard drives externally. Wait, hold up. Can I at least be compatible to like USB or micro USB? So I can have a hard external no, hard drive. No, Ross, you're not a computer. No. We're just saying you're not like a computer. We're just, yeah, <laughs> it's just an it's analogy like, for like yeah. how this how the storage is yeah. is uh, mm. is done when in your mind. Or maybe it's like a. I'd do it. I, th- I think I'd take new knowledge and overwrite my previous memories. I think that's okay. That's, that's kind of scary, you know. Can you get rid of your own memories just to learn more? What if you start forgetting people? What if that's the. Is it determined by how often oh, you use the this first kind of thing, memory? First thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have a room or a place where I have character cards for all my friends, with some basic, bare bones information that is absolutely crucial. Yeah, but with some life events, and I'll just reread those. <laughs> See, but there's you no like emotional attached to that. Yeah, I know. Because yeah. like you technically you know what happened, but you didn't experience it. I think but I, it's like out I think I world. accidentally turned myself into a villain here. <laughs> He has a new yeah, thought, he's though. like, he wants to just forget about all of us and just get new All right, you know what? What if one day you touch your skill book, right, and you forget, the thing that you forget that replaces it is the fact that you have this ability. So I now have to live a normal life, but with some weird, weird like, blocks of memory that I just happen to have. All right, wait, wait. holes in my memory. So is this, like, the chocolate touch where if you touch something, it turns to chocolate instantly? Or do you have to actually exert effort to change the book into knowledge. 
Um, I have to do something. I have to like consume it, not eat it. <laughs> like, I don't know. I think that's a... maybe like take some time. Like we're, how we're how get... much time you have to touch it? Let's just keep like pressing so, it. So maybe going back to like the computer like, analogy is like yeah. loading. You're basically loading. downloading, yeah. downloading. There you go. Yeah, analogy. Kind too. of like in Skyrim or other games. You know, press E to read. <laughs> you know, I have, I have to interact. Right. With so it. you you can pick it up and stuff, but you have to do some kind of interaction I can't to just actually, absorb it. Yeah, I can't just accidentally brush like a shelf of books. And the screw over I mean, why would you life. choose it? You can't just read the book. Oh, I could choose to read the book. So, so, so that's kind of. It like, would take like I the same would, amount of time. If it was a storybook, I'd rather read it. But let's say like I need to pass a class or do something, or I need a lot of knowledge, and it's super compressed in a small book. I can just you know download that real quick, and now suddenly okay. I'm a guru on I don't know something or other <laughs> biology. I do programming, man. Yeah, like, oh, yeah. a lot of money. Mm-hmm. Like yeah. like you know mechanics or something. Aerospace okay. engineering, you know. <laughs> it's all it's all about like applying it too. So yeah, you know, there's like you can have the fast amount of knowledge, but if you don't know how to apply it, then it's basically useless, you know. That's fair. So what about you, Chris? What what kind of power would you want, man? I gotta think about it. I'd rather have cheese first. Okay, Wait. so mine is kind of like similar to Sunny, but like instead of talking to insect, I'm I would rather understand people. So like I want to understand every kind of language in the world in the world yeah what about the universe whoa whoa, whoa hold up <laughs> universe starfire yeah. from uh what you call it teen titans mm-hmm. yeah doesn't she do the thing where she kisses somebody she learns their language by kissing them Ooh, no, Ew, okay, no. Well, okay, i can't okay, do that okay, so, so you, wouldn't have, you wouldn't have to do that but let's say all you have to do is hear it no, that's not really much of a limitation, though. Okay, yeah, yeah that, that's a little too powerful. We need so you just that, you could just go yeah. on YouTube and just listen to the voice, and then yeah. she got the voice. So maybe instead, oh. like maybe she can understand the voices of the world, but I cannot communicate. But, yeah, but yeah. she can't communicate with. Yeah, them. so I can only understand it. So like, if somebody's speaking French, I can't understand what he's talking, but I can just go and talk to them and then talk to them in French. Hold up, is the Fibonacci code the one, two, four? Eight, six, or oh, whatever. You just keep adding the previous number thing. Uh, something like that. I'm pretty okay, sure. it's like one, one, two, three, five, eight. Yeah. That's okay. it. Yeah, that's yeah. it. Yeah. Okay. So, um, what if what if the language thing worked like that? Like, if you hear somebody, you can understand them, but you can only speak the last language you learned. That's hey. interesting. So let's say you go to France. You pick up French. Then you go to German. You learn. You you can now understand the German, but you can only speak French. Wait. So does it mean that I? like completely forget whatever it was so like right now I speak two languages and then that doesn't apply so I cannot speak English the only language that I can speak is the last one that I picked up or yeah pretty much or, or basically somehow Ooh. you can speak and we're not limiting your speaking but you just happen to not be able to speak the language that you're understanding at the moment so you can speak one language understand another but they don't it will, it will be the it, same one. It will, yeah, it will never line up to be the same one. <laughs> that's that means cool. that's, oh, that's useless. That's, 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 that's not a power. That's a curse. That's not a okay, okay. That's, that's not a power. power. That's a curse. Yeah. That's, I just right, want right. to understand them. I, I the only, don't the only, need um, to talk to them. Benefit I could see from that would be if you were like go to a nail salon and you happen to understand what they're talking about, like if they're talking about you. Yeah. You can't really say anything to them mm. unless you have a common language between you. But what if you talk to someone who's bilingual? Then you're good. Yeah, just keep I mean, switching. I'm only bilingual, so. Oh yeah, that's true. That is fair. Well, you know what people do about like going to nail salon? Like they just press the Google button and be like, and just translating to them. That's fascinating. Yeah. Do people then, do that? Yes. There's one time that lady was like venting about a, a nail salon because like when she pressed the button, one of the words that came up was ugly. Oh. And she was out of her mind. I didn't know if she confronted them, but like she posted it on like social media or something. And I was just like, damn. <laughs> yeah, See, people I'm could a- do it now. I mean, with technology, it's just it's just cool if I could actually like understand it instead of yeah. pressing like Google translate something all the time. I'm always worried about the freaking hair salon people just talking shit about <laughs> me, man. Some because the one I go to, they it speaks Korean, Vietnamese, and Spanish. So I don't know who's, like, shit-talking me in which language. <laughs> I mean, I don't go to, like, salons. Well, but the thing is, why would you think that they were shit-talking to you uh, about you? I don't know, man. Like, sometimes... Just, that's some people's fear. They just yeah. have that fear. I think that's, like, the majority, like, majority Americans' fear. 
Because like, they're like, oh, I feel so uncomfortable because they speak in another language. But yeah, sometimes yeah, they yeah. just speak it about something completely un- like irrelevant to you. You don't even need to hear. But like, they're just like, oh, I feel so com- uncomfortable. They're like insecure. What do you mean? They're not even talking to you. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's probably just because stories. Like, it's just very common for us to hear about nail salon people yeah there's a lot of anecdotal evidence but i bet you if you like sampled people if they were talking about you or not it's probably low yeah it's not i'm I'm sure there is some of it though like i'm not discounting that (laughs) that's an interesting you know i i already have an idea for changing my power but uh chris you haven't said anything yet (laughs) yeah um, I've kind of been thinking about it. I wish that I could heal any physical ailment that I have, or like many, maybe like a, like a mental ailment or any, anything like that. Like a, if I was stressed out, I could like snap my fingers, and the stress would just evaporate. So maybe like a weakness for that would be since if you heal yourself, you had to suffer. Someone else has to suffer your pain. Dang, that's that's, that's dark. dark. Because that's kind of dark. You had like a moral dilemma there because you could be very self-serving but then hurt other people in the process and that I don't think I could justify just because the nature of the power is to help someone namely me but if I'm hurting someone in the process then it's it's not really worth it well how about this let's say there is some sort of enemy you have (laughs) okay okay or or you triage people and if someone's about to die anyways Okay, maybe I mean, not <laughs> killing people, but like whatever you suffer from, another person has to suffer it for you. So oh, if see, you're that's, stressed out that's, and you snap your finger, you now you're not stressed out, but somebody else but someone is stressed out. Yeah, it. so uh, it's a, it's would a burden you do it? someone else has to take. Yeah. Um, I feel like I'd rather bear it myself. I, I know countless people who just snap that finger over and over. I feel like I'd rather but bear just, it myself. But just knowing you, I don't think you you could do that. No, like I, because I I would know how t- I, I have my own ways of coping with whatever I'm dealing with at the moment mm-hmm. other people may not it's right. something new to them so I'd rather it might be the last straw burdens. for them too like what if they're already stressed from something yeah else? like who knows oh I, gosh, I wouldn't yeah. want to put something through that what if like, somebody already has this power this is why some people just act so irrationally at random times <laughs> oh my gosh <laughs> alright so this is actually what I read in a book it's like there was like this class of wizards or whatever was this so uh, did you absorb this one or you actually read this one i actually read this oh, one. <laughs> that's impressive right? yeah, so, yeah. yeah. <laughs> didn't have the power wait have the power i thought i forgot something yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. See, no. you, you just gotta remember that kind of stuff man I don't, yeah you're doing too many books that's, that's kind of funny because like your power you can like uh i can forget the fact that i have a power yeah. you know like well um which we call but they have this amazing power which is they can uh pretty much dock sleep into life so it's like if they go to sleep for like 10 years they won't have to sleep for another 10 years or the equivalent of how much like let's say we sleep what six to eight hours a day or whatever yeah or four mm-hmm. to eight depending four on eight, yeah. how bad of a person you are um <laughs> or or how much schoolwork you have and you actually take your time to do it which in your case you never do <laughs> well that is, that is, so that doesn't apply to you Here's an idea. Does apply all to of me. that all of that is true by the way guys what if you could plug yourself into charge so you no longer Ooh. needed sleep so you're a superhuman what is the phone. of it though? so you've got your like phone charger or something you plug it into your asshole and then all of a sudden, <laughs> <laughs> all of a sudden you're good to go you're multitasking you're no longer tired. You don't feel fatigued. But now you're like dependent on a wall or charge or that's true. City. Yeah, but we're but I, if you think about it, we're already that way. Yeah. Because we are so dependent on like having a ball plug for like okay, laptops but I or yeah. phones. At least die. <laughs> that's true. Okay, oh. so you if if your phone dies, it's no big deal. You get home, you plug it in, whatever it charges. But if you if you run out of juice, mm. do you die? That's or do you in hibernation mode? Someone else got to help you. Yeah, so you just fall flat on your ass. When you're in a, like, well, you can just like bring your charger with you all the time. If the apocalypse happens and then the power grid was destroyed and there was no more power, yeah, you'd be kind of screwed. But this is probably the best day and age to have an ability like that. Mm-hmm. Like if you had this like several hundred years ago, you would never know it because you can't like plug. I mean, you'd obviously die pretty quickly. Yeah. I was thinking more along the lines of I sleep 24 hours straight. Now I don't need to sleep for another 36 hours or so. See, that's pretty nice because then you can but always, if, like, self-perpetuate. But then what if <clears throat> I miss something? Like, what if I sleep a year? And then I'm good for the next two two years, I'd say. People have comas. That's okay. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> like, can you control, like, can you control how long mm. you sleep? Or, like, can you just, like, go to sleep and you don't know when because, you're going to wake because up? I'm, because of this, 
okay, so we get, I get tired and I still have to fall asleep, but I don't have the opposite of that. I don't feel like it's super awakened. So there has to be something that wakes me up. So if I'm in a, like... Someone has to slap you. Yeah, someone... Okay, there has to be some sort of catalyst for me to wake up. Otherwise, it doesn't work. Yeah. And I don't know what the catalyst is. Interesting. It's different mm-hmm. for everybody. That's interesting. All right, so it's a unique thing that, like, triggers you from your, like, resting state into, a, like, a wakeful one. Yep. And you have to do that every single day. Or whenever I want to wake up. So if, if if nobody's able to do that for me, or I don't set up some sort of machine that does it for me or something, I might just sleep forever. So Somebody like, dies so in the war, you have to wake up. Wait, but it's like every five seconds. You'd be seconds. awake like Yeah, forever. it's like every five seconds. That didn't work like that. So like Sleeping Beauty, where the prince has to kiss you awake. That's Ooh, interesting. Interesting. <laughs> So maybe I would take like, that out for you, homie. <laughs> I, was, I was just about to say that I'm never waking up, but thanks, Chris. <laughs> I got you, man. I don't want you to sleep Thank too you. long. You're going to miss the school bus. Thanks, man. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Chris, do do oh my I'm a giver. I'm a, I'm a giver. What can I say? What about, what, about you, what about you, Chi? What would you feel if some guy or had to come in over and just kiss you to wake you up? She would be like, no, fuck that. <laughs> no, no, I'm, I'm, I'm just going to sleep the entire my life. No, no, actually, I think for you, you'd probably want to sleep for most of your life and then have, mm-hmm. like, maybe, do you have a K-pop idol, someone you idolize? <laughs> I know you do. Ooh. I know you have a bunch. <laughs> Just have one yeah. of them kiss you. Oh, you should be the, the thing is. We'll make it no, we'll, why, we'll make it viral. This lady won't wake up unless... Oh, person somebody. Had, yeah. And oh, then yeah, we'll, we'll, sure. get, we'll get that person for you. <laughs> but how, how, could, how could I be sure that you guys can get that person for me? Dude, I'll we'll make a wish. Up them. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Make a wish foundation. Make a wish foundation. <laughs> we got you. Oh my gosh. But, no. The no. thing is, why would I want to sleep for like such a long time? Because then when you wake up, let's say you slept for like a week. Now you actually don't need sleep for the next three or four weeks. You don't even feel tired. No. You're just going to be super productive. Well, the thing is, I like I can my play sleep. So many I like games. my sleep every day. <laughs> I, I don't know. I don't I don't like having to like miss out on everything that going on around me for like a week and then just wake up and be like, Hey, now I'm awake for like what I'm gonna do for like the that's six true. or eight hours that everyone else is well, sleeping. See, that that, is a good that's point. the beauty of it. Let's say like you can still go to sleep at night, but during those times you can use up some of that, you know, ba- that stored sleep for when you're tired. Like in the morning you just get to a morning class. Ooh. You can just say, Alright, I'll just use those two hours and now it's as if I got two more hours of sleep, I'm good. Or three more hours. <sighs> So okay, you, so you're storing. So it's you, like a battery or something. Yeah, you sleep however long you want, and then you store that and use it whenever you want. Hey, hey so I would actually do that, because like now, first of all, I got my idol to kiss me, and now I can <laughs> just use my store away power <laughs> whatever we want. But you have to trust us to do that, because we could, Ooh, we could lie and just get you. We could just, you guys we could just kiss you ourselves though. and say that he came and did it. But it doesn't have, like, it has to be someone that... You know, I idolize to to wake me up. Does it no, mean? it's just it's a kiss. It's just oh, it's, it's just, just a kiss. But we'll tell you, we'll get the person you want. Oh damn! <laughs> you gotta trust us to do this. <laughs> nah. Does it have? It doesn't have to be a kiss on the lips. It could just be a kiss anywhere. Okay, yeah. Oh, like, so, like so I, just, I I can't just tell my mom. Just like yeah, yeah. I'm in the saying, morning, just, just go ahead and kiss me. It just has to be a kiss. Wait, so that's not a, a downside then? Yeah, that's, it's, that's it's actually like a, that's actually like super that's, fun. Yeah. All of a sudden, this is a OP power now. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> oh damn! It, is it a power or is it just convenience? <laughs> More like a well, convenience. yeah, because like, if I don't dress you, right? it's it is a super convenient thing. I mean, yeah. Or, or, it, could, yeah in that case, you know, what was it? Syndrome. He's like, if everyone's super, then no one's super. Yeah, yeah. All right, yeah. how about this? Everybody has a sleeping ability thing, mm-hmm. but everyone's trigger is different. You okay. spend half your life figuring out what it is. <laughs> Pretty much. Maybe there's scary. like a. Yo, that's that's the parents' new thing. <gasps> they need to figure out how to wake up their baby. Oh my god. Oh, that's crazy. No, no, no. But, but let's say we live in a world where it's already institutionalized, and the hospitals figure it out within the first day or so. Well, that okay. wouldn't be such a big deal then. But. Us as, you know, 21, 22-year-olds, we don't know. Just us four. Are we, like, pioneering this? And yeah, then pretty the much. Okay, okay, okay. We're pioneering this, but other people are not worried about this. So it's like all of us have this issue. Ooh. That we don't know. So, so now people. we're just randomly kicking each other, <laughs> <laughs> playing random types of music. Six slap. Trying to tickle. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, That's scary. Just think about, like, if someone does, like, knocks us out, 
that we we can't wake up forever because we wouldn't know how to wake <laughs> you up. You would not know, yeah. yeah. Would, I mean, how are you supposed to figure out that it takes two tickles to your left kneecap and then a slap <laughs> on the wrist? No one's going to know that. <laughs> because it is sequential, it, it, it's, it matters. Because every time you do a new action, maybe it resets it. <laughs> it's like a, so it's like Simon says, or the Simon Speaks thing, where you have to tap red, tap yellow, tap like, green. Like, Bop it! <laughs> like a freaking like, Rubik's Cube attached to your wrist forever. <laughs> you have to solve the <laughs> Rubik's Cube. To wake oh me my up. god, you have to just... Yeah, and the more you scramble, the deeper I sleep. <laughs> Gosh, you have to get one of those like masterful people to do that. To like, solve it in two seconds. That's I don't, I don't know, man. Like Just living in a world like that, where certain patterns have to be set, or then completed for us to wake up just sounds like a spooky world that I don't want to live in. This sounds like a great inconvenience, but that's what makes it not too super. So what if you just yeah. fall, like a hobo falls asleep in the bus? <laughs> oh my gosh. You can't wake him up. Does he have like a note or something on his like hand or something to show that? Yeah, that's, what, that, that's why I mentioned the institutionalized What's that thing, thing called? It's like the, the dog tag? like a dog tag for like diabetic people or something like that. Uh, don't it's know, like a something card, health card. Yeah, 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 it's like, I don't know if... It, like do X, Y, and Z or contact this in, person. In case oh, yeah, this happens. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Case, so yeah. this time we'll be having a... Uh, Those would be card. issued at the hospital then. After we pioneer this. Mm. <laughs> Wait, why would we want to pioneer this? <laughs> to yeah. begin with? I still feel like being able to store up sleep and then using it whenever you want to would be really cool because... It's a superpower that's also convenient. Yeah. But this mm-hmm. downside is huge now. So now this is a, yeah. this is a huge give and a huge take. Mm-hmm. Oh my God. I don't think that's a huge take for me. Really? No, because like the thing about me is that as long as I have coffee, I can function. <laughs> All right, so well, I can just like take so, a nap for like fifteen minutes. Okay, so coffee allows you to function. Yeah. All right, so coffee you, and naps. Well, what yeah. if what if coffee, in our world of certain actions, need to wake you up? What if like coffee becomes it steals some of your story? It becomes like if you drink coffee, it sucks away some of the sleep you take. No, it'd be like Superman's kryptonite. So you'd probably just avoid it. <laughs> yeah. Honor, truth be told, like you'd probably just avoid it because you can sleep whenever you want to. It seems yeah, like, yeah. Mm-hmm. or whenever you have free time, really. Why would you need coffee in that case? I'm just saying, in my case, I wouldn't want. How would this affect the work week? What, I mean, if we have more time to do oh. stuff, would we be? It oh. probably. The unfortunate truth no, is, I think. No. Our work week would no longer be 40 hours a week. It might be I like... I think it'd be more. It'd yeah. probably be like 70. 70. Yeah, yeah, like we're, we're tapping into the law of unintended consequences here. I mean, you can Whoops. do <laughs> what you want to do with that. Because you're like kind of voluntarily contracting with mm-hmm. that employer. Or you can be an entrepreneur and you can put those 70, 80 hours a week into like whatever you would want to do. That's what I would want to do. But then you technically slept for like the whole week last week so you didn't work last week it's kind of just like now you have to work for the oh, time wait, um, no, it's like one on one off right no yeah. dude, it, that's it, interesting yeah so so if if the, that sleep schedule because you can't just store sleep from nowhere you have to actually sleep to store yeah. it right yeah I think over the long term it would normalize back to what we have now yeah that's what I'm saying because I'm not changing the ratio of tiredness I'm just saying you mm-hmm. can shift it maybe we already have this power we just don't know it five hour energy just... <laughs> Crash later. <laughs> Jeez. No. Dude, that's how we can live forever. Keep drinking five hour energy. No, that's no, how I we stay awake for as long as possible until we drop dead. <laughs> oh my God. Come on with a patch. It's just got like 17 all over your torso. <laughs> it's like those grenade belts, but it's like grenades just literally five hour energy. Five hour energy yeah. is just. <laughs> so, wouldn't companies like put like sleeping beds? in their like corporations so people can sleep at their companies so you know they actually have that in in some places like i've heard some yeah, major airports they call the sleep room it's like a cube uh i know there's an airport that has that for a witch i've heard stories in this i don't know if there's any truth to this of um like chinese immigrants coming over to the mm-hmm. states mm-hmm. and like they would work in maybe a factory or something just basically live in the factory work f- super super long time just so they can get enough money to um send money back home so that their family members can come and immigrate to America as well. Mm -hmm. So I feel like it's not too far off to have people kind of sleep at the office, work as much as they can. You know what I mean? Like you can sleep on your like like half hour break or whatever. Um, Also, this would uh, solve a lot of like resident, you know, area, whatever, like problems. The workplace and the home would kind of merge. Yeah, that's true. I wouldn't want to work. I, I wouldn't want to I wouldn't want No, of course we wouldn't want that, but that's yeah. what corporations would do to maximize efficiency. You would have to have a whole new benefits plan. <laughs> <laughs> well, the thing is, it won't work oh, if lo- you don't have family. 
Yeah, that's what I was thinking like, too. Because like, I already know, like my my supervisor was having like this conversation with me, like about a company that I was gonna apply to, and she was like, "Yeah, my my husband used to work there, and they they really nice, they super cool, but the thing is, they don't have a limit of hours that you have to be there. They would provide you anything, like they have fridge, they have drinks, food, everything in the office for you, and they don't want you to leave the office. Like you're gonna work like ten to twelve hours per day." Oh, that's an interesting. That's yeah. interesting. So, like, as an incentive you have to work longer. That you, yeah. Huh. I mean, technically, they don't force you to, but um, they would want they you to do that. Incentivize. They yeah. would want you to. Yeah. Yeah, and so that's why her husband uh, quit because, like, now that they have family, they have like kids to take care of. Mm. They, mm. they can't do that. If they come, I would just want to spend time with my family anyway. Yeah. This would actually be a better model for the other power, the one way to plug yourself in. Yeah. Because yeah. <laughs> then electric electric companies yeah. and mm-hmm. like the corporations would buy out you know their own little generator or whatever it's like we have the power for you to sleep literally <laughs> we literally have the power for you to like work oh well, it definitely open up a whole new market of portable power i mean say something did happen in the future if there was already maybe like a solar like everyone has like a solar charger thing that they can hook up to themselves or maybe something like that mm. i feel like all of a sudden there'd be a much greater incentive to pioneer those new um, sources of uh, electricity. <laughs> what if we create a railroad around the world and the entire train is just solar panels and it moves at the speed at which the sun crosses or whatever. <laughs> so it's just perpetually gaining energy. And is this for no, transportation? Th- <laughs> <laughs> no, just, this okay. is just to harvest energy. This is just for harvest energy. So Interesting. It's, oh. So it, sh- it should run itself with that solar energy and get more. It's like a waste of time. But 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 <laughs> what's, okay. the point, like, what's the point of building a, a railroad? Like what is gonna transport? I have no okay idea. okay. I think he's saying not only do the solar panels have to power the train, it also has to be a way to store. Like maybe the cargo is um, like batteries that get stored up, mm-hmm. and Ooh. maybe the train stops sometime, drops the cargo off, Ooh. and all of a sudden you've got a lot of energy. Damn. That's what I'm saying. It's not it's not just for shits. But like but like <laughs> where would the trans like where would it stop? Like where would it? I mean, drop like off maybe energy? four major co- like every time so it hits the sun, a continent, the sun Ooh, is so beaming like down. The, oh, so yeah. east coast, west coast, then like it's on the equator, right? Like that's why yeah. it's hottest there. So you've already got a good line to go around. The problem is there's a lot of ocean. So how do you mm-hmm. accommodate that? Because yeah. if you go under the water, obviously you're not getting sunlight. Mm-hmm. If you go over the water, you've got to build bridges. Turns into a plane or no? I'm yeah. kidding. No, you'd ha- we'd have to make a huge. Over, or maybe, over the over the ocean railroad, yeah. <laughs> or maybe just around America. Maybe you could like you or could build something that floats enough. on the water, so you're not building stuff down to hold up stuff. Maybe you're floating on the surface of the water. But how much? We'll have, yeah. But then like it'll take energy and time to get across. The ocean. More so if it wasn't just a railroad and just yeah. rolling with momentum. What if it's not like a hurricane? <laughs> okay, that's fair. Yeah. Wait, what about why don't we just make a satellite? That orbit, I think we don't we ever have that satellites that satellite, satellite that orbit us and they have yeah, there's panels on them yeah, a lot. Yeah, to power themselves. Yeah, yeah. yeah. There's yeah a lot. I don't know why we're trying to build that. a railroad when we yeah, have Yeah, like that was your no, idea. But the, pro- the problem is like you would have to get that energy down here somehow. How yeah. Do you do so, so that that's you. Those satellites usually aren't for our energy; they're for themselves. Yeah. To keep themselves running forever. Yeah. Um, but it's like, like the Mars rover has one, right? Is that how it stays up? I have no idea. Yeah, man. I'm pretty sure. Like I forgot which rover was it, but it sings itself "Happy Birthday" once a year. <gasps> oh, really? That's yeah. so depressing. Really? Yeah, they make it sing. I, I, I think it was May fifth. I can't. I'm just making that number up. I forgot the exact date though. That's a good amount. Was it May fifth? Maybe. Nah. Could be. I don't know. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> it's just this happy birthday. It's just I seen a comic online about it. It's like and is that that dude the beam he's crying <laughs> to himself? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's like I don't know. Like Mars rover. Did you know the Mars rover blah blah sings itself to happy birthday once a year on blah, XYZ day, and then there's a dude beside it and he's just like crying his heart out. <laughs> it kind of reminds me of because uh, you're reading it. Kind of reminds me of uh, One Piece. So basically, in One Piece, they have um, they have this train right that leads to a city on the ocean. So the, how they do it is they have floating platforms with train tracks on them. So maybe something like that could That's exactly us. what I was saying, yeah. Oh, dude, maglev. What's it? Magnetic levitation. A maglev train? I'm Perhaps. sipping Uganda into this. I mean, not Uganda. I mean, <laughs> Wakanda. <laughs> Wakanda. <laughs> 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 
Ooh, no, no, bad. so Maglev's already <laughs> thing. So, Mag- so, so Maglev's already thing, where it's like they use the magnets to levitate the entire train. The whole, the whole railroad track is has magnets in them. And I don't, I don't know if they tilt the magnets such a way that it just starts moving forward. Yeah. But the momentum is ridiculous, and you don't need any power other than the initial power to move the magnets. That's it. That's a thing in what, like East Asia, right? Yes. Mm-hmm. I forgot which country. Japan. That seems very Japan, yeah. They, have, they always have those kind of magnetic like splits. And they go trains. so fast, too, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Bullet train, that's what it's called. Bullet train. Bullet train. That yeah. sounds really Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's, maglev is how they do it. It's, that's... Maybe we could do that. You could do that, but you, it's still you're still at the initial problem of how do you how do you get the tracks there initially? Mm-hmm. You know onto, what I mean? Onto the yeah. water, yeah. And how do you stop like huge whales and stuff from just smacking it aside? I would fight them. I would fight those. <laughs> so he's got it. He's experienced with water. <laughs> why 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 do you need to like build a drain? Like you could build like a solar panel or something. Yeah, I know, but it'll have solar panels on the train. It'll, I'm saying the reason I'm it's saying this. The sun. Yeah, it's, yeah, exactly. it's, over it. it's chasing the sun, so it will always be charging. The only thing we haven't accounted for is cloudy days. Yeah, <laughs> or rainy <Whoops>. days. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, mag- the maglev part of it, the magnetic levitation part of it, should take care of its own power. So it's p- basically only storing excess instead of worrying about upkeep. That is true because yeah, the magnet's doing its own job. You just so we to- don't have to worry about it. It's running out of power or whatever. You just have to have power at the station so you can actually get the train to stop, right? Oh, true. Mm-hmm. But then again, how many stations do we need? Uh, Fun time. <laughs> like maybe, maybe 10. Uh, it depends on it, how much cargo you're carrying, I guess. Yeah. How many cells you have. It depends on up. who pay for it. <laughs> is oh, the whole world going to pay? This is an internet... Yeah, this, ooh, this ooh, is by like the way, global global when, you cross, when you cross over like countries, it's not just like you, you're just going to be, hey, like I want to build like a railroad across the country like that's not gonna happen you have to pay for them to that's do true that. they're yeah. gonna blow it up yeah <laughs> Dude. that's true I feel Dude. like anyone I can sabotage it I feel like too yeah yeah like, like somebody like some, could just like like bored person mm-hmm. and their friends just kind of like mess up all this it stuff yeah. it was a good idea in my head <laughs> <laughs> it was I can't, <laughs> I can't think right. about this charge thing, man. Like, you have to stick it up your butt when it's charged. Do you have to, don't you get, like, like shocked? Oh my God. Like, ooh. <laughs> <laughs> don't you feel like a little ting, like, ooh? You just, like, put it up your butt or something? Hey, man, you get used to it. <laughs> what does it have to be the butt, guys? Oh, so can you, like, plug it in your wrist or something? You got your ear hole. In your ears. No, how about this? It so should, any hole. It should be directly. <laughs> it should be directly into your chest, so there is the worry of like a surge. Oh my god! <laughs> Wait, what if what if someone like makes pleasure surges or something like that? Pleasure right? surges. Yeah, like they put like a little. Like an electric version of a vibrator. Yeah, basically. So someone like wants to like. Why are we oh, funding this? <laughs> I don't know, man. Someone wants to be fucking kinky. I don't know. Oh it's like once they, once they felt like that, they will shock up their butt. They're like, ooh. <laughs> Maybe they want sound effects. Maybe they want more. I don't know. That could be a business. Like, hey, we have sexy shock plugs. Let shock you know. plug. It's a spark plug. <laughs> Not that kind of spark plug. <laughs> you like it? We got it. <laughs> All right, right. Well, that's an interesting idea. <laughs> two payments of twenty-four ninety-nine. <laughs> <laughs> Can you imagine the marketing for that? Oh my gosh, dude, it would be like on. No like... longer use the, the the your car your car spark plugs <laughs> on yourself. We now have the tool just for you. <laughs> so, yeah. It comes in different sizes and, and like like vibration feels like you can have slow but sensual, or you can put like hard. And rough. I feel like you could, uh, what's the word? You could just like make your own like homebrew version of that. And I think it'd be pretty simple. I think you would need a fork and an outlet. <laughs> oh my god. It's a, it's a water for lubrication. Maybe a little bit of water. <laughs> oh my god. Wait, what are you gonna say, Chi? No, 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 nothing. I was just gonna ask, like, isn't it, like, just like any other, like, sex toys that they're already doing, like, they're already making it. But this, this one this is one saving your like... life, though. It's charging you, it's charging you as it's happening, because remember, we're now, the battery Ooh. run. <laughs> It's just that good old vibration, man. That's going to be a massive turn up for some people, though. I mean. <laughs> and well, I th- think about it, people also have been, like, portables, too, man. So, like, when they can be so a portable... Just, <laughs> <laughs> like, 
like a portable charging bank and just keep zapping themselves? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, no, they're not zapping themselves. They're like constantly have a constant vibration. <laughs> so like they're on the bus and like zzz, you just hear multiple people just buzzing Jesus on the bus. Christ. Oh my gosh. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, that's got weird. <laughs> Some people are saying no homo. <laughs> <laughs> I just, you know, there's just so many things you could do with the plug, you know. Hey, yo, I'd rather not sit beside you while I'm doing this, so. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my gosh. Dude, Sorry, like, fellas, I'm just going to step into the charging room for a second. Hello. Dude, you, you, got, you know those science experiments which have, like, the tube and then, like, the spark kind of moves up, up like, up it? You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? Mm-hmm. That's, like, the, uh, what do you call it, like, the sparking things on the wall that you can touch and your fingers, like, control where the sparks yeah, 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 go. Yeah, where it go- or whatever it is. Room like that. <laughs> that could be like the elect- electric version of a spa, where it just like kind of tingles all, us all over, but really lightly. Ooh. It's ASMR for your body. <laughs> hey, I like that. Oh, yeah. so now maybe people could do electric chairs and something like that. Oh, we already have it, of course. We already have the electric already, chairs. Yeah. <laughs> all right, that's that's a little dark. <laughs> so now it will be. I haven't really figured out the voltage yet. It has a little. So it won't be capital punishment. It'll be capital pleasure. Jesus. <laughs> Is that the name of your company? Yes, capital pleasure. Oh well, Spark plugs it incorporated. Is, it, it, is a, <laughs> it is a punishment if you like it. <laughs> Jesus. Okay. Dude, I, I feel like people would buy it. People would buy it. Yeah, that would be Yeah. I, For sure. Just think about it, man. That'd be, that'd be good marketing. 50 bucks. Wait, hold up. Pleasure. So we only talk about input. What about output? We just charge our laptop. We can just like insert our finger into this hole and just kind of takes our life. A little. Zoom. It goes like that. Well, that's kind of like the, that like that movie we were talking about where you like trade time for like whatever else yeah. you're doing. But it's like time your, just your life essence. Battery. You're trading your life essence in for the life of a, I don't know, like a portable thing. A phone, a laptop. Because if I know I'm good, if I'm good, I know, if I know I'm good on charge, my phone's dying. I could just give it a little zap. Do you <laughs> risk it though? Do I risk it? That's interesting. Do you risk it? It, it, it? Let's all right. Let's say that we put every single battery, every single person's life force into a standard unit, mm-hmm. and so you can easily convert between like a cell phone's battery level and then your own. Mm-hmm. So if you're at a hundred percent and your phone's at fifty, and you touch your phone to charge it up, would you balance out to seventy-five each, or do you go down to fifty and it goes up to a hundred? I think I would go down to 90 and it would go to 100. Cause no, I'm, no, but we've already I'm, standardized the units, though. That was yeah. the point. So we've standardized the but conversion. But I, I, I hold so much more than my phone. No, no, no. But we, see, that's why we're standardizing it. Like, if, if we put it into, like, a standardized unit. But I feel like if you standardize it, it would just, I don't know. I feel like it would lose a purpose. It's, it, it would take it, longer to it would, charge uh, yourself. It would, in the perspective of a phone, true, yeah. it would be amazing. The perspective of a human, that would be like kind of useless. How much do we actually hold? Yeah. So, okay, so let's... So if you touch your phone, let, let's say at 0%, how much of your life essence would you say would be reasonable to give to it? To I'd get say, it to 100? I'd say like 10 to 1 between me and a phone. Mm-hmm. 10 to maybe 5 between me and a computer. Yeah. 1 to 1 for like a washing machine. Wait, so you're saying that if your phone takes two hours to go from zero to one hundred percent, you have to charge for twenty, 20 hours. hours. Damn. But I'm not. That but sucks. I'm not, that that sucks. sucks. I but I'm not going to use a, a micro USB on my body. I'll use it for my phone. I'll use a, a human sized charger. Like just plug that shit in and supercharge me in twenty minutes. Hit up Sunny for uh, <laughs> size appropriate. Oh my <laughs> Sunny Spark Plugs Sunny. Incorporated has. All your modifications and size of music. It isn't capital punishment, if it's capital pleasure. You get to choose the girth of your church. Oh <laughs> but I don't know, like, just think about it, just changing your, exchanging your life force for a phone is just outrageous. Just yeah, like, I don't, yeah, I don't know if I, I can justify wonder, it. Yeah. Because you, you still are able to plug it into a wall socket. Yeah. I mean, maybe in a pinch, say you're stranded out in like the desert, you need to make a call to save your life. Okay, I'll get just a few percentages. I'm not going to die for this. I'm just saying, if we have an input, we <laughs> got to have some. Out- we need some. Out- <laughs> we need some output, right? As well. So like, just give it a little. Or maybe maybe we release that output when we like pee and poop. What? <laughs> oh, so we don't like, eat now. Our food is electricity. Yeah, it is our electricity. Think about it. Oh. Because we we basically our life force is 
like electricity. So then the only way we can eat and survive is through electricity. Question, so, can you still eat for pleasure? Yes. Mm, so we still have taste buds and functioning like, okay. Yes, I don't but, know if I could give up Taco Bell. Yeah, no. <laughs> what if we have Taco Bell Dude, electricity? Dude, and, and, and Bonchon. Oh, yeah. Oh. I, like, I need my food. Stop talking about food. That's kind of like, like, would you would you want to give up sleep? No. Like earlier. I, I would see, keep but, it. But yes, I, you don't have to, keep it. You don't have to give up sleep. You can still sleep and yeah. just keep adding that to your bank. But in a pinch, when you need it, when you need that extra bit of restedness, you just throw it an hour or two or three. Or just like a day's worth, just so you study better. <laughs> I like it. So yeah. what do you think is the best one out of all the ones that we've thrown out there today? I think all of us are kind of trash. <laughs> just a little bit. I think I like my kind of I like... They come like, with so many uh, catches. The, so the, many... Yeah, but the only actually like kind of good ones were like sunnies and cheese. Like you said you want to talk to insects and you're not harming other people. You're just kind of doing your own thing. I'm not harming <laughs> insects though. It's oh, pleasure. right. Wait, I forgot. <laughs> I, forgot, I, forgot, I, forgot I forgot about that. You're, cru- you're, you're cruel. Sunny's a maniac. <laughs> oh, no. I almost yes. forgot. You know what? Okay, cheese was the only good idea. <laughs> <laughs> Understanding other people's languages. But maybe not learning being them. able yeah, to talk to them. That's fine. I mean, if you're able, that's a big power in and of itself. Mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. honestly, that's like probably the most mel- well-meaning one out of all of us. Yeah, yeah sure. I mean, yeah, like, if somebody needs help and they're not speaking, like, either English or Vietnamese and they speak in their old language, but I still be able to, like, understand and help them, so. Yeah, you could yeah. tell a third party. Yeah. Mine be, I think mine was good, like, on a personal level, but it became trash. <laughs> yeah, because, like, we keep, like, act. All right, so let, let's let's make it a little fair, then. Let, let, let's, cause yeah. I think we hit you too hard with the, yeah. with the. Because, you know, like, I could never. I know, I know. I could never mm-hmm. do so how about, that, like, so. more than So how about when you, sk- when you snap your finger, you heal a certain part, but the other part of you gets hurt. Oh, no, 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 no. What about what about you? You don't you, know what you, you heal. Um, you don't feel the pain right now, but it's sore Ooh. to a later time. Ooh. So, like, okay, now like you're this. stressed out, but you have to get things done. Mm-hmm. You can just snap your finger and then just like be able to start it to a later right, so time. The thing is, you don't know when, when yeah. that would act up again. So this That's is both mental yeah. and physical. You heal physically, mm-hmm. yeah. but mentally, you still have to deal with it at some point in your life. Right. Mm-hmm. You so, point. So, yeah. you, so you can have a shit day, like every Sunday, where you like <laughs> take all your crap and just feel like shit for one day and then feel good for the rest of the week and keep doing that. Or you could take a really bad event, like a broken bone, like let's say you fell, and you could change that into like, take that over a few hours. So you don't feel that shock. So you're kind of dispersing the pain. So it's it becomes milder. Mm-hmm. So you can control, but um, it becomes longer. Yeah, mm. but you still ha- you still have to deal with your pain somehow. But you can heal. So it's you're getting this is more ups than downs, but the down is kind of rough. The down is pretty rough. I mean, because what if you overestimate yourself? What if yeah, you have some nice. stress and some anxiety that's and some thing. other things, yeah. and like you know, also push us all onto this time, and then it's overwhelming, and you break down and cry, and just, you can't handle it. If it hit during a bad time, that would be almost worse, actually, because I don't know. Say it's like final season, and you've been studying all semester, and it happens to line up with your final exam mm-hmm. when all of the yeah. shit hits the fan. You yeah, know what I mean? No. You'd end up screwing yourself. I don't, I don't know, man. Actually, I think I wouldn't take it. I think I would just relax. I think I would take it day by day. Oh, you should try sparsing it out. Yeah, I would take it day by day. Yeah, yeah. I would do that too. But I you, would live st- you still get the healing too. ability, by the way. So you still have that. Yeah. But you just not. I would careful. have it, but I would be careful. Yeah, with mm-hmm. with how I use it. I would have to really pick my battles for that one. So that's that's a tough one. It's a tough question. Mm-hmm. But I think it's a lot more fair for you now. Yeah. yeah. It is fair. Yeah, I mean, unless you're pretty... not hurting somebody else. Yeah, yeah. I'd much rather inflict it on myself than someone else, but I still would rather not inflict it on myself if possible. So, well, what about mine? Like, I don't know. In the future, maybe, mine might be interesting. We might be moving towards that right now with, like, AI and everything. But, uh, I don't know. I think I think for me, I'd prefer if only we could have Sunny Sex with a company. I think I'd, <laughs> I think I'd love that world. It's a world worth fighting for. I'm not going to be part of it, because that's not how I roll, but I'd love to see. I'd love to see how people react. Dude, you don't have to play like you're not going to be part of that. I know you. Hey, man, that's between us. Oh, my gosh. But, yeah, I think just overall, cheese would be the best. Oh, yeah, cheese. Mm-hmm. Just, it's probably the most well-meaning out of all of ours. See, there's a reason why I come today, guys. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Your input, really. Yeah. Thank you. Just good ideas left and right. It's 
still like mine though. That's pretty unique to you though, Sunny. I don't, I don't know. In a room of four people, that makes one person. Thank you very much to Chi for joining us today. You're welcome. Thank you for having me, guys. And tune in next time to the Sick Podcast.